got a new rod. <laughs> we got a new rod. Yeah. And uh, this is called the Artisan. Now, this rod is a little different here. This rod is built in England, in Harvey's factory in England. And uh, this is a beautiful rod. Now, you guys uh, tell me about, uh, uh, I'm just going to pull a couple of sections out here. Um, this is a, uh, this this thing is gorgeous. I mean, it's a, it's a, we've got a beautiful you know wood reel seat. You know the color is just gorgeous and whatnot. But tell us about this new artisan. What, you know the, you know how does this differ from the Zenith? I mean, basically, what we've done with, with the artisan, we've taken we've taken Centrix technology, we've incorporated it into the blank, but then we've we've applied a standard and a, and a build quality that, that you would get on the on the finest cane rod you could buy. Um, the thing's completely hand-built from scratch in England, the blanks rolled in England. Um, we sourced the real seat, the real seat's an Amboina Burl, uh, which we sourced from the from the USA. Pretty. As, as uh, Howard and, and Jim have told us, they're using some Amboina uh, Burl, Amboina Burl, and a very nice, uh, very positive real seat that uh, locks up nicely. It's a very nice looking up-locking seat, holds the very, reel very securely. Um, looks uh, just a beautiful looking job. Um, we've got the very best Portuguese cork, floor grade. The cork, I'm just talking about the cork now, you know one of the things that's always impressed me with, with, the, with the hardy rods is the cork. Look, here's the zenith, okay, here's the artisan. Well look at the cork even in the zenith, this is unbelievable cork. Way better than we normally see from all the other rod manufacturers in the world. Yeah, we put a lot of effort into the cork sourcing. You know, it's a natural product, it varies year to year, but we, we do quite a lot of forward buying of the cork to try and try and hold that quality level. It's not always possible, but we do on average keep quite a high, quite yeah. a high cork. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a gorgeous color. It's a kind of a metallic olive uh, gold. Yeah, I mean, one of the big things with the finish, we, we have a new system um, which we developed ourselves, which gives us this crystal clear um, varnishing work. Oh. Um, I mean, if you just look at the thread wraps, when you get a close-up look at the rod, look at the thread wraps, there's practically no air bubbles within that, within that thread wrap. Wow. Um, in, in fact, you can't even see the thread. The thread let's, is invisible. Let's, let's take a little closer look at it. Well, I'm looking at the stripping guide here, and now I look closely, the wraps are clear. Uh, it's not a colored thread and then they make a coating over the wraps but look you can see the feet of the guide <laughs> doesn't look like there's anything on there so that's amazing now I've took this out and cast it yesterday and it, it's a lovely rod you know um, it, one thing I noticed right off the bat was the fact that it, it's very light you know it's a little smaller in diameter you know than the Zenith yeah okay so how does this differ from the Zenith it, I also noticed that it, it, it seemed to me to be uh, a little tiny bit softer and a little bit slower in action. Now, am I right? Am I wrong? Where am I sitting on that? Well, you know, slow and soft, I don't like those words, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's what we've done, that the, the taper design, I've not gone for as rapid a taper, so the taper's a little bit more easy. Yeah. Um, what that gives slower. us... Slower. A little slower. <laughs> yeah, okay, go on, I'll let you use that one. <laughs> what it gives us is, is a rod which is just that little bit easier loading. Yeah. Um, so for a guy who doesn't, you know, doesn't want a real high performance, fast action rod, we've got something that's just that little bit easier. So the guy who likes a slightly more smoother loading stroke to his cast. But it's still a very, as I can see, it's very high performance. It's not, oh, yeah. We're not talking about a huge difference here. It's just a very subtle difference. No, it's to give, it's to give the guy who likes something just that shade easier that helps him out a little bit with his time, just to give him something different. Yeah. Um, it also, you know, gives you good tippet protection. The eight and a half four is a really, really nice, sort of short to medium range, accurate dry fly rod, and they are very slim in profile as well. Yeah. So. Well, I, and I can see, I can see some differences at long range. You know, I mean, frankly, at wrong, but at real long range, the Zenith is tough to beat. I mean, you yeah. s if you're trying to throw stuff at 50, 60, 70 feet, I mean. <laughs> This will really get the job. Oh, yeah. This is still, you can do it with the Artisan, but I can see where the performance is more geared to closer distance fishing, but that's what we're doing most of the time. I mean, 90% of the fishing we're doing is, you know, 20 to 40 feet. You know? Well, it's a finesse rod. It's yeah. very much a mm -hmm. finesse rod, technical uh, fishing that really require a very light tippet, very long tippet, 
So it really is a rod for the most expert kind of fishing, while at the same time being a little easier to cast. So I would say those two qualities, it's an unusual mix, but uh, at f finesse and up front technical fishing is, is what the rod's all about. Yeah. Well, um, Jamie, we're going to have a, uh, now all, all these new five weight rods on the market, we're going to have to do a new, another five weight shootout this next spring. and. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, you may be looking at number one and number two again. I don't know. We'll find out. Huh? We'll what do you find think? Out? <laughs> well, it would be helpful if we won. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, uh, <laughs> people think we're in bed together. Then. <laughs> well, we're just going to call it the way we see it, you know. Uh, but, boy, I'll tell you, this is gonna, these are very impressive rods, and uh, it's going to be tough for anybody mm -hmm. to knock them off. I would hate to be a rod designer this, in this decade. Those are two really hard rods to beat, in my opinion. Awesome. We had a great time. I thank you guys for coming and uh, yeah. talking with us a little bit about the new technology and, and for people to get to meet uh, Jim and Howard. And, and uh, so you gonna? I know you're flying out of here. Are you still sticking around to fish? Yeah, you know I've got like a week left, so I'm no. gonna hit a few more rivers. <laughs> Okay, thanks. All right. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Mm -hmm. James. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. Thanks, pals. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Super.